You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Yeah, 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 yo. Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, man. It's Sunday morning. I just made it to the gym, about to go work out. I, I started taking Sundays off, but after what happened with Devin Haney last night, I'm like, man, I need to go work out too, man. We, we all need to go work out. <laughs> yo. Man, Devin Haney lost the fight. He lost the money. He lost everything. Only thing he didn't have to lose is the belt because Ryan Garcia came in a little overweight. Oh, man. Oh. He got smoked. Like, for real, for real, for real. That was crazy. Devin Haney looked real. Yo, the, the respect. Javante Davis deserves so much more respect, son. To be able to stop Ryan Garcia with a body shot, uh, uh, bang, drop him, little rib pepper, and to see the way he beat the shit out of Devin, Devin Haney last night, oh my goodness, bro. Devin, when Devin Haney first got caught with that left hook in the first round, boom, I already knew, I said, oh man, it's going to be different. Um, shout out to everybody here for Battle Rap. I'll talk about more of the Haney and Garcia in a second, man. Uh, I know there's people who's here <laughs> who want to know what happened. Between Charlie Clips and Fonz, I'll talk about that. Uh, Loaded Lux. Shout out to the beloved Loaded Lux. We had Loaded Lux on Fox News on Friday. The episode will air this week. It'll probably air next Friday, but I'll I'll give you guys more information as the week moves on, you know what I'm saying, as to when the producers want to drop the episode. But I'm, sure it, I'm pretty sure it'll drop this week. But shout out to uh, Loaded Lux. We got to talk to him about a lot of things, about battle rap, about his next opponent, about, you know what I'm saying, all of that. Everything he got going on, and it was good to see him back outside and in good spirits, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to my man, Loaded Lux. We had a really good conversation. Him and SP had some pretty good conversation. We, we, it was a definite good episode, and like I said, there have been people that have been asking, like, yo, what's up with your next episode and things like that, and I had, we could have done other guests. But I wanted to get Loaded Lux on, you know what I'm saying? So we definitely waited, and we got him. He he came through, and it was a dope conversation, you know what I'm saying, about battle rap. Because it's very... It, the people who were, like, super popping when Lux first came through, it's very few of them that have transcended and made it through every single era and are still, like, factors now, you know what I'm saying? Even we love them or hate them, take away from them, give to them. But guys like Rex, you know what I'm saying? Rex is a is an all time legend in battle rap. Regardless of where you may feel his career is at, and we talked about a lot of things. I did ask him an interesting question as to how he maintains staying relevant in a microwave era. Like I was like, yo, people like yourself may not battle for a year or two, and you got other cats that battle in friggin' two times a week and three times a month and every other month they on a car. How do you man? And he answered that in a pretty dope way. So that should be good for y'all to see too. But uh, Charlie Clips. <laughs> yeah, man. Now I know people that know people that know people that know people. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I don't have Saturdays for battle rap no more. I check what I need to see and I keep it moving. Like I don't, you know what I'm saying? Battle rap has gotten so watered down that since there's an event every week, we can't even get excited for them no more, you know what I'm saying? But I know who I know who to know who to go through, and I was definitely able to see Charlie Clips versus Fonz. Charlie Clips freestyling, same shit. Uh, <laughs> every trip is every Clips. Every trip you get in the freestyle Clips, you know what I'm saying? He gave him like about, if I want to be generous, Maybe like a minute and five seconds of written material, and then the next four minutes is like all freestyle and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fonz is Fonz, so I don't even. What do I need to tell you besides Fonz won? But I told you this when the battle got booked. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, he's not beating him. Uh, one round. I don't like one rounders. I don't like one rounders on cards that are three round battles, and I don't like one rounders that are not promoted as one round battles. You know what I'm saying? Leading all the way up to it, I thought it was gonna be a three round battle. Here we go again. This is it's, it happens way too often nowadays to the point where I'm not even surprised. So, one round battle, and maybe they said it. Maybe they said it. Maybe it was pronounced. Maybe it was announced. But Charlie Clips is drawing so so little attention to the things he's got going on that if he, even if they did, I wouldn't have known. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. If they would have said the shit was one round, I would not have known because I'm not. That's not where my attention is at right now. I'm not. 
breaking down, getting old video and breaking down clips and making no intro. I'm not doing none of that because it's Charlie Clips. You get shake work. You don't get no. What what what, what Verb said? Weight baggers can't compare to no shake movers. I'm not in the crib in the studio breaking down it. Y'all know I can edit too. You already know. But I'm not doing all of that. For what? <laughs> you get a conversation. That's it. A conversation. That'll be that. And I can tell you how it was. So yeah, he showed up. He gave like a lot of minute of material. He started freestyling and shit. You know, same old shit that he'll freestyle about. Uh, Fonz comes in, bombs on him. Clear win. Uh, what does that do for Fonz? One round battle. I mean, yeah, they could release it and let the world see it. You know what I'm saying? But if you're expecting anything more than a minute or so of written material and some freestyles, then I mean, <laughs> you're shopping with the wrong. <laughs> you're shopping at the wrong store. Um, but. And then the thing is, sometimes I go back and I watch Charlie Clips battles from like him versus Loaded Lux and things like that. And some of how he used to get crazy. Like he's not giving y'all, he's not giving us that. We're not getting that. We're not getting three rounds, performance, written material, catered to the person and all of that. We're not getting all of that. We getting show up, rap one minute about <laughs> one minute about some shit that has to do with the opponent. And then freestyle the rest, you know what I'm saying? What he say, what they say, oh, I was gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, the same old bullshit. I, 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 I can hit your calves in Cleveland. Like, come on, bro. Come on, we not doing that, man. I, he ain't say them shits in particular. But it ain't. It wasn't much more than that. That's all I'm saying. I fuck with Charlie Clips, and I like Charlie Clips a lot. But one thing I don't like doing is wasting money. Now, like I said... I could get through how I could get through, and it's suspenseful. I'm not, I told y'all, I'm not paying for all these niggas' pay-per-views no more. I'm not out here bootlegging that shit either, but if I need to see it, I'll see it. I don't bootleg events. I don't, I don't do none of that. But I could see it. <laughs> I mean, like, fuck all that. Because these niggas is not even giving no maximum effort no more. And I can sit up here with you all morning, but I'm not finna do that because what happened was what I thought was going to happen. And what I thought was going to happen is the same thing that I think is going to happen versus Easy to Block Captain. I don't think nothing different. Until I'm proven different, I ain't, I ain't using nothing different. Why? Same thing works every time. Uh, NBA playoffs started yesterday. Uh, the, the, the fucking Minnesota Timberwolves are going to fuck around and sweep the Suns. If Kevin Durant and Booker and them niggas don't start, start scoring 40 and all of that, they are going to lose 4-1 or get swept. The, the fucking Minnesota Timberwolves start two centers. They play the best defense in the NBA. They get a lot of rebounds, and their bench scores 25 to 30 points a night. That is a recipe for disaster. And Anthony Edwards is playing fucking out of this world. He could take it to MVP level any night. And he ain't got to play MVP basketball. He just has to score a lot. <laughs> he can score 25 and up, and you might be in trouble. Once he gets past 25, 32, 33, 30, and the other people around him are clicking too, you in trouble. And hey, he ain't stoppable. You ain't stopping Anthony Edwards by himself. Hell no. He got to have an off night. If he don't have an off night, he cooking you. And Devin Booker played like Landry Fields. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Grayson Allen was Joe Harris. KD has his 30, but you can put KD on any roster in the NBA. He can get his 30. But if the people around him, the auxiliary pieces, don't get theirs, forget about it. If you if your bench consists of Royce O'Neal and Eric Gordon at its apex, you got a lot of fucking problems to win games. And Royce O'Neal is not a bad player. Eric Gordon's not a bad player. But when the other team is bringing Alexander Walker, Nas Reed, and all of them off the bench, whoa, them niggas is they going for the gusto. Uh, but the defense is too good to get too many rebounds, and Kevin Durant or Yusuf Nurkic is not a rim protector. So they're going to have their problems in that series. Unless they start scoring some ungodly numbers against the best defense, they'll probably be going home by next Sunday, and that's game four. Just saying. Because they get too many rebounds, and they play too good defense. Uh, the Knicks versus Sixers. I seen the Knicks win. Joel got hurt a little bit in the beginning. The Knicks played really good defense. Josh Hart rebounds and has a motor like nobody else on the court. You know what I'm saying? The Knicks have rim protection. They got people that's going to get fouls, take fouls, and get a lot of fucking rebounds. Mitchell Robinson is not a good player, but he's going to play defense. 
He gonna get tippings, and he gonna be bouncing and down, up and down off the fucking ground. And Joel Embiid ain't got no lift right now. I mean, he did his thing, but towards the end when it mattered, like them fadeaways, he started shooting air balls and shit. Like they double teamed, the ball don't get out quick enough, et cetera, et cetera. So if the Sixers don't make some adjustments, you know what I'm saying? I think they fine because that period, like Joel had to sit down for some time. Like he threw the shit off the backboard, then dunked on the nigga. I was like, man, you ain't got to be doing all that on a seriously repaired knee. I understand you want to get it in, but golly, my nigga, like that was wild. I thought it was over, but good to see him back because nobody want to see a Knicks and Sixers series ended but with an injury and some shit. We don't want to see that because then somebody going to get a free pass. You know what I'm saying? Make it five, make it the whole seven games or five games or with the way the Knicks played last night, that bitch might go five or six. But we'll see. I seen the um, Lakers game. Uh, Lakers is Lakers. Uh, Lakers are not in trouble. D'Angelo Russell was just a bag of ass last night. He missed every fucking shot he could. Uh, but Denver's a really deep team. I said Denver was deep. So you know, uh, Joker. They got nobody for him. Even AD. AD's good, but Joker's a different fucking movie. Like he got. <laughs> Shake weight to bake weight. He'll move you out the goddamn way. And he going to get rebounds. And he going to get assists, et cetera, et cetera. So I thought that was a, um, a pretty good one. Uh, playoffs is popping, though. I'm not going to lie. Uh, today, the Clippers come on. You know what I'm saying? And a, whole, and a couple other games, too. So I'm going to watch them shits later. But uh, overall, uh, Charlie Clips lost again. I don't care how nobody spin it. You know what I'm saying? They might try to spin it to, spin it to pin it. But that nigga lost again. Uh, 420 will now forever known be as what the fuck happened to Devin Haney Day. You know what I'm saying? Um, fucking uh, we the fans. They do got they announced two more battles. I'm a, I'll talk about them probably more in depth when I get with SP. You know what I'm saying? I seen uh, Bill Collector versus Wu Sai, a new upstart off URL. You know what I'm saying? That's going down on the OSBL versus Gates of the Garden Car. And then they announced uh, Eunice versus uh, Holmesy the God. You know what I'm saying? I haven't really seen a lot or heard a lot from Holmesy. So, I mean, I'll be looking forward to that. And I know Eunice got his shit. You know what I'm saying? He wanted a newer cast. He pretty fired, too. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Frank White. It was just his birthday, too. It was just your birthday, nigga. Shout out to uh, Frank White and everything that he's got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's still early. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but the OSBL versus Gates of the Garden card is going down. They got Kid Slade versus Ace Amin. And that's May 18th in Maryland. You know what I mean? Shout out to all of that. But yeah, uh, Clips, man. Uh, yeah. Between you and Devin Haney. <laughs> Between you and Devin Haney, man. Y'all, y'all fuck, y'all fuck Saturday night up, man. You know how much money Devin Haney lost this weekend, man? Sheesh. He lost niggas money on fan dude. He lost his like it was crazy. That was a bad, that was a bad job. And then the referees was trying to help this motherfucker win. The ref was like picking, the ref did everything in his power he could to help Devin Haney win that fight. He was picking him up, damn near picked him off the, off the ground. He, I thought he was going to throw a punch at Ryan Garcia too. I thought he fucking ran and hit the nigga. Like, this is crazy. But I am glad that um, the refs got it right. One ref had it 112, 112. I said, man, oh my goodness. I said, don't start this shit tonight. I said, do not start. Bro, this nigga, I put money on Haney, only 50. Only like 50 spot. I ain't put no money on. You know what I'm saying? I don't be putting no big money on boxing and shit. So I put a little 50 dollars spot. You know what I'm saying? I still lost it. Uh, <laughs> to my man Jay Skills. And I, I was damn near ready to pay the nigga before they even made the decision. I'm like, regardless of how they call this decision, Ryan Garcia won this fight. And I'm glad they didn't do that bullshit where they fucking still find a way in the cars to give it to Haney, because Haney did not win. He lost, clearly. He thought he was going to just jab, 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 jab. You can't, When a motherfucker got power like Ryan, Ryan Garcia and they clocking your ass and the only thing you're trying to do is stack rounds with a uh, with a jab, and he's dominating, demolishing your shit. He dropping you. Boom, boom. Yeah, that motherfucker knocked out on the ground. The first, the one where he was face down, I didn't even think he was getting up. He get up. The ref take a long ass time getting over there to get to the count. He been on the floor three, four seconds before the ref get down. He start counting them all slow. He get up eight. Now, one thing I will say about Devin Haney, that, that bitch could take a punch because it's either Ryan Garcia need to work on his conditioning more to, to end that fight or Devin Haney is, 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 is could take a punch because he was getting fucking plastered. I couldn't even believe it. I was like, what? But anyway, man, uh, got his ass whooped so bad, I'm about to go work out myself because I was like, man, this is fucking crazy, man. We don't let the be the Beige Brigade come through and whoop everybody ass. Chris Brown come through. He dissing people. Drake still dissing and fucking AI voice. And then Ryan Garcia went to three Beige ass whoopings in one weekend. 
I, I heard the AI Drake track and all that. I'm not making blogs on all that shit, man. I spoke with it when they first started this, and I'm not. I'm an old head. I, Tupac voice and all Snoop Dogg. I'm good on that, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a. He got the win. Kendrick Lamar scared anyway, man. He ain't saying nothing. I'm just joking, but he might come back out. Who knows? But I let the niggas who handle that handle that. I'm out. Gang, 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 it on bang. Hey, is, is there anybody check on Devin Haney to see if he woke up yet? Because that motherfucker got smoked.